First, uh, just an update on Salvi, how he's feeling today. Oh, no, fine. They did take him in for an MRI today. Everything came back clean. Um, he's got a little fluid in, in his joint and a little bit of a, a bone bruise from getting, you know, foul balls and back swings on his wrist, but he's fine. So he's day to day. Do you eliminate the possibility of needing an extra catcher? Yeah, no, he can come in and catch if we need him today. So he's fine. Yeah, Jordano was hurt. We heard of Jordano was running uh, stairs today, and uh, you know, last night he's wearing the knickers, and he seems to be changing a few things that seem to be working last night. Well, Johnny runs the stairs, and you know, so you know, it, it doesn't hurt, you know, to to do what successful people do, you know. And I thought Jordano threw the ball great last night. I thought he had, you know, an opportunity to really get in trouble in the second inning with the bases loaded, and he pitched himself out of it. It's going to be fine. And are those things encouraged from Johnny and Edinson? Are they just doing it on their own as far as uh, if there is any tutoring? No, I mean, I'm sure there's tutoring going on because you watch. Uh, I paid attention to Jordano uh, and Volquez sitting down at the end of the dugout when Johnny was pitching and watching every move Johnny made and uh, then last night you know you look down and Johnny and, and Eddie are sitting there watching every move Yo O'Donnell made so um, you know it's a uh, you know being from the same country and the same type of scenarios both Eddie and Johnny were really good pitchers coming up uh, and had to learn to deal through adversities and understand how to be successful and you know they've been there, so you know they can they can help Yodano uh, in a lot of different ways. How nice is it, I guess, to be in the situation where you can be cautious and you got the pad and you can afford to set him out and, and rest him? Well, I mean it's nice. It's better than the alternative. I'll say that. You know, and we can take the time because if we weren't in this situation, so we'd be playing tonight. So you know we can take the opportunity to give him a couple days and uh, get that thing feeling better. And, Valuable to try to keep everybody strong and healthy, you know, going into the stretch. Ned, last year at this time, you guys had 21 more stolen bases, 23 less home runs. The offense has morphed a little bit, hasn't it? Yeah, a little bit. Um, you know, we're hitting with a lot more power. You know, power kind of develops late. Uh, and you see Haas and Moose and Lorenzo Kane and uh, all these guys hitting with more power, Salvador Perez. Um, so, um, you know, but we're a team that still likes to run when given the opportunity. Uh, but the clubs have a pretty good idea what we're about now, that they know that we're athletic and that we like to run the bases. And the pitchers are doing a great job of, uh, of uh, you know, controlling the running game a lot better against us than they were this time last year. And also, if, if you're going to hit like that, and it looks like, you know, the power's coming around, there's not really a need to run as much, right? Right, yeah. And we're scoring more runs. and. Um, last year, there was a necessity to try to get into scoring position so we could score some runs. Um, we're doing it with the bats now. What does it mean having a backup catcher like Drew Matura? Um, it's nice uh, where you feel that you can give Salvi a day or two days off and uh, not worry about the defense. Because, I mean, he, Drew's a tremendous backup catcher. He can catch, he can throw, block balls in the dirt. Uh, he, he can do a lot of things like Salvi can do back there. I know Salvi will lobby to play 365 days a year if he could, but is he lobbying right away already today? Or? Well, he called as soon as he got done with the MRI. I wanted to know if he was playing today. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Trying to get him more than, more than one day? Or just oh, yeah, yeah. We'll probably give him a couple days. You know, just go day to day. Probably today and tomorrow, and then we'll look at it and see where he's at. If it's still sore, we'll give him another one or two. Hey, Ned, what, what's it tell you about the team to have everybody playing so hard? when you had this big league, you know, you know, no one would take it's, a day. It's, it's just in their DNA. You know, they love to play the game, all of them. Man. There's Salvador, Escobar, Omar, Haas, Moose, Kane. They love playing baseball. I mean, they love it, even to the point with, like, Salvi and Escobar and those guys, you know, when they get done with this season, as long and as grueling as it is, they go back home and play winter ball. It's like, boys, take a break. No, they love, they love playing baseball. And uh, it shows. It shows on the diamond every night. Is that rare? I mean, compared to other teams? Uh, well, I mean, would you see that off with a low player? Yeah, I mean, you see it with the majority of your players, but on this team, everybody's like that.